Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at another Geo Geo Classified series for you guys. And also, before I continue on, this is actually the second take. I had to do this video because the first take, uh, for some reason the video got corrupted. I 100% no clue why and how it got corrupted. All I'm just going to say is, God damn it. That's all I'm going to say. <sighs> I, I have no clue why the hell it got corrupted. Anyways, so today, well, it's all a little bit, but today I went to Burlington. I don't remember when. Don't remember when. Uh, I was looking around to try to find something, some, find something what I need for my collection, but I stumble upon this. This figure, this figure right here. So this is the GI Joe Classified series Cobra Island Wave. And if you guys remember that, Cobra Island was a target exclusive wave that it didn't come out perfectly well. And the reason why it didn't come out perfectly well, because of the target of target's order was so bad, long story short. Some of the figure hacks never been never came to the target, like mine, for example, because I was trying to find uh one of the target exclusive figures. And plus an action never find the Red Ninja and Barbecue, which those are the two figures I actually wanted for my collection, anyways. Before. Ooh, what do I need to do right now? Before we continue on, you guys will meet a little bit quick favors, I'll be right back. Hey, you! Stop what you're doing! Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and enjoy your day. Make sure I already had to do that, and yeah, that's pretty much that's it. So here it is. Here's the front of the packaging, what it's gonna look like right here. You can see the nice classic box style, what it looked like back in the day before Hasbro putting the, uh, you know, the garbage ass plastic free packaging. You can see the nice artwork right there, of uh, Roblox right here. This is number 11, by the way. Forgot to mention that. And I am actually very excited to have this in my collection. You can see the Cobra, Cobra Island logo right there. You can see this side I had the stat and I had the number 11 right here. Number 11 on the top. Nothing in the bottom. This actually cost about $8 at Burlington, so I was lucky to get it. And you can see the side of the packaging is showing off the nice artwork of Roblox right here. Pretty nice. And of course, together moving in this angle like that. It's actually pretty awesome. The back of the packaging showing off the Cobra Island stuff. And this actually looks so, so, so well. So anyways, enough about that, let's actually take a look what accessory that Robo comes with and looking, look, looking over the figure. So let's begin with the review. So the accessories that Robo comes with is his, oops, is his sunglasses. And I might have to warn you guys, do not actually lose this one because this thing is actually tiny as hell. Cast in this translucent blue, painted a little bit of orange right there in the middle and painted in with the rest of the uh, sunglasses looks absolutely amazing. So yeah. And you can see what it looked like on the inside right here. Well, this side right here looks actually pretty nice. He comes with a little magazine right there. Nice sculpting, but I wish I had a little bump on it because this I have had some issue with this because it keeps falling off. And his and his signature main weapon. Now the main weapon is just a straight repaint of the first figure that has actually came out on the first wave of GI Joe Classified series. So it's just a straight repaint, but this one is cast in this in, uh, in this dark gray color with the metallic blue on it right there. There you guys can see. Well, they have the blocker named right out there, and not much on this side right there. So yeah. So anyways, enough about that. Let's actually take a look over the figure. So here we have Roblox right here. I am actually pretty excited to have this figure in my collection. So. Now the most of the figure, the, so the most of it right here, you guys can see, is just a straight repaint using by previous figure. I'm not sure which one is which, but if you guys do know, actually leave a comment down below. Anyways, the painted is going to be the detail of the figure. It looks absolutely nice. The black and the black and the light gray on the shirt looks absolutely amazing, and the pants are right, right here with the grenade holder right there looks amazing with the knee uh, the niche. Uh, I forgot the name of this one. Like protecting your knees. It looks actually pretty nice. The one thing I actually don't have a somewhat of a complaint is 
a little bit of a, like a wobble right there. Like that. This one doesn't have that one, but the right leg does. I don't know why, but it doesn't like, you know, and doesn't make like, you know, the standing up the fake hair looks horrible. I mean, like, issues with it, so that's actually nice. You can see the G.I.J. logo right there looking pretty nice. You can see the details right there in the shirt. He does have a detail on on his arm, which is a tattoo of a lion. You can barely, barely see it, but there it is, a tattoo of a lion. But the saddest part is, if you move, like, move around with the arm, the sculpting does break off of the looks of it, so that's kind of sucks. Disappointing. His sculpt, by the way, looks absolutely amazing. I love the detail on the beard right there. So, so nice. And there's an actual, like, a little hole right there on both sides of the head. And, and also the communicator right there. Painted in gunmetal gray, which is actually pretty nice. And there's a hole on both sides of the arm, on the head, that you plug it in right there. And boom, there you go. You can see there's Roblox with his sunglasses on. You can barely see the eyes of it right here if you have, like, an angle right there like that. But that is actually looks amazing. Articulation-wise, head is on a ball joint, so it does go 360 degrees. You can look up that far, you can look down that far, and you can move the head somewhat of a side. You can tilt the head side to side like that. Uh, arms uh, can go 360 degrees. Arms can go in and out. He does have a little bit of a butterfly joint right there, so that's kind of sucks does have a rotation of the forms right there, a double bend at the elbow right here, swivel at the wrist right there, the wrist can move side to side, same thing on the other side right here in the other wrist, he do have an ab crunch, and an arcing back right there, and also this does have nothing for the sculpting right there, and plus nothing in the back here, and also there's a pickle right there, I have no clue why, but you can plug in any other accessories for G.I. Joe, they have a backpack. You can tilt the body side to side and it does move left or right, it's on a ball joint, but I do, but it does not go like, like a full 360, so don't bother to do that. Legs can go forward, not that much backwards unfortunately, which just kind of sucks. Legs can go in and out, and it does have a shift right there, no clue why, but it doesn't do anything doesn't shift down a little bit on the, like, doing like that. So at the bicep. Double bend at the knee right there. Swivel at the calf right there because everything is on a, everything is his boots. So yeah. So so full 360 on that. Feet can go f up and down like that. And you can pivot side to side. So you do have some good, decent possibility of it. By the way, this part right here is, is removable, but I'm not going to do that. Same thing with this part right here, but if you want to pop up this arm, which, don't do that, and I'm not going to do that. And a nice sculpting, by the way, on that, if the camera can't focus, you can see the nice sculpting detail right there. I don't know why my camera is always not focusing on anything. Now, poking in the weapon, by the way, is a bit difficult, even like, you know, grabbing right here. Like, very difficult, but I'm gonna do it like this. You grab this one, the back handle right there. Now, you wanna angle the arms, you wanna have like a perfect good angle, and make sure you don't lose your mind, also, because I actually did lose my mind on that. A giant fucking pain in the ass to deal with. Plug that bitch in. And I don't have no clue why this magazine came off. I wish I have like a little bump right there so it could like, you know, lock in so it doesn't fall out. But anyways, here it is what he looks like with his weapon on. Pretty nice to it right there. I wish this part right there in a the barrel, like the inside of it painted in orange. So I'll probably paint it in neon orange. So it looks like it's like shooting. This is actually pretty cool to be honest with you. So yeah. Uh, overall, this actually looks good, but let's actually give him the final pose and give you guys my final results, so I'll be right back. 
Overall, this figure is actually pretty good, and I actually do highly recommend it to have this in your collection. If you guys want to complete all the GHA Classified series, I'm lucky enough to get this at my local Burlington, and I am actually very excited to have this in my collection. Anyways, I'm going to end this right here, so have fun, stay safe, and I'm always, I'm out.